in addition to what we have in scripture about thanks and gratitude, we also have a ter terrific mode of responding to God through lament. And that is what lament is. It's just another way to respond to a God who is there. And so what do I do with that? What do I do when I, when I get up in the morning, maybe, and I take the time to pray, and all I feel toward God is anger or disappointment? How do I engage a God that I know is present? I know he's here. But I have these deep feelings because I've been hurt. It's how long? Will you forgive me? I'm wrestling. I'm, I'm, I'm struggling here. Are you going to help? And then verses three and four basically talk about the, you know, the, the, the petition. Look at me and answer. And if you don't, here's what's going to happen. So respond. And then it finishes with this praise. But I trust in your unfailing love. So there's, there's a movement there. But at the heart of this, this genre, this way of addressing God, of responding to a God who's there, is this understanding. This understanding that God is good. But it's, it's a question as well. And the question is, God, I know you're good. But where is your goodness? I know you're loving, but I can't see your love. Where is it? You know, we read the Psalms and, and there's a danger in reading a Psalms a certain way that we read it the same way we do any other book. That we read it without a voice and without emotion. But you know, the Psalms were, were a songbook for the people of Israel. And they were a songbook for the early church. Imagine if you came to service on a Sunday morning and instead of, instead of singing the songs together, you just... Basically, you just put them up on the screen. You gave people silent time to read them. And then you move to the next one. And yet that's what we do in our general, in our, in our reading of the Psalms a lot of times. The Psalms are an invitation to worship. And lament is an invitation to bring all that we are and, and things that are inside of us, the disappointment, the anger. Yes, anger and to air it out before God. In our journey, as we were watching our boy get ill, there were times it's like, God, I know you're good. And we're crying out to you because we trust you. But this keeps getting worse. And the pain was so fresh and so raw. And we know God is one who saves and we were trusting him to save. And he was the only one who could. And then he didn't. And the pain was so deep. And we needed to have this avenue of expressing our disappointment to God. Because we know he's loving and we know he's strong. But we needed to express our questioning. We're called to lament. We're called to this way of responding to God. Why is it that God does that? Why does he call us to this? I think it's because he wants to reorient us. That through lament, he wants to shape us in ways that he could not shape us if we weren't in touch and, and didn't express the deep wounds that we sometimes feel. It's like for the psalmist, for David in Psalm 13, this process of crying, of crying out, where are you, and asking for help leads him to this point of praise where he, he, he offers authentic praise from the deep places. Even out of that brokenness, he offers it. That blessed be your name piece. Sometimes it takes lament to get there. If you go to the Psalms, for example, David's the one who's written so many of the Psalms. And if you read David, you know, you've got the, the swath of, of human experience, right? You've got praise for God for his wonderful word. 
You know, you've got uh, in Psalm 20, you've got celebration because God finally delivered him from his enemies. You've got Psalm 13 that expresses lament. You've got Psalms of confession. You've got the whole range of human experience there. And really, the Psalms are an invitation to engage God in every part of life. Because the fact is, God's calling a response, but he's there. He wants relationship with us. And he's given us these avenues to meet him. This is the place where our deep brokenness and need encounter God's boundless love and resources and acceptance if we would embrace it.